Now, good morning. We're the 8th of November. Uh, what time are we? It's going to 10 o'clock in the morning. I've all the girls off at school and this is my time for feeding. Now, I'm going to try a little bit of editing here now. I'm after getting a new app on the phone there. It comes up on some of the videos, video show or something like that. But uh, I'm going to try and see can I walk it better. So basically, I'm about to just knock the power off on the fence. I'm going there now and throw them out this bit of silage here. So they're the kind of loads I'm giving them. I'm giving them two of them. Um, for half a day or a little along with it. And uh, let me just show you this way. So there's a good bit of stuff on that. Two of them. And uh, that'll last them until this evening. And then I'll open up the fence down there. And uh, that'll do them for tonight. So that's the new system I have at the minute. I'm giving them a lot more than I had started off giving them. So they were in this area here uh, last night at 4 o'clock. Just before it gets dark, I gave them in. They were at the far side there and uh, in this side for uh, a full night and then below then for uh, this evening and into tomorrow morning. So I'm going to pause this now or press stop or do something with it and see can I add it all together because I'm going to feed these here now. So obviously I'm not going to hold this phone. So I'll be back in a sec. So that's the morning job's done now. I'm after just finishing throwing out our last or our second load of uh, silage. So all is quiet here for now. A beautiful morning. We had lots of rain again last night. See, they're not that hungry at all. There's a pile of stuff lying there. I have it left out in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or so piles. So, uh, yeah, they're full of grass anyhow, so they're not that anxious to get it. In fact, I could leave them up here altogether and not let them down there this evening. We'll see. I'm kind of moving through fast at the minute. Faster. Again. I tend to do that. I'd rather have them full, full, full. You know, I'm, I'm a bad man for uh, tightening them. But anywho, I want to just walk down here now real quick. This is the kind of grass now that they're getting used to now. They're coming into that kind of lovely stuff. But over there now, some of you might remember, I call that the experimental field. What I did was I grew it right up in the growing season. It got super strong and I let the cattle in then after skipping the first rotation. Hang on. After skipping the first rotation and I uh, battered it into the ground and I topped it. Then I grazed it a second time, I believe, I think, and topped it a second time. So uh, let me just show you that. Now that's the lovely grass that's in here that's been grazed. This will be its fourth time, I think, to be grazed this year. So that's the kind of lovely, lush stuff you have when you keep it grazed when it's fully recovered. But in here now, I have to jump this drain. Now, I'll have to do a bit more editing here now if I fall. Oh, I'm all right. But yeah, this is the rushy field. Now, the rushes are a way back. Definitely a way back. Now, it was topped twice this year. A full crop hammered into the ground. So, I mean, a load of carbon went down into the ground. Now, to be honest with you, I walked through here the other day to see what kind of stuff I had. And I was that bit disappointed, to be honest. You can see there now, there is young green shoots coming up. But it's a bit tired looking. The tips are, are yellow and burdened off. And it's struggling. So, I kind of had to go back. Hang on, they can see me just to show you where they are. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I was looking at this the other day and I was a little bit disappointed about how it's kind of tired looking. And I expected it to be that bit better having had 
rest this year and a lot of stuff hammered down onto it a lot of carbon so i did some research last night i've read up on all these uh, regenerative practices and uh, how to implement them and i've no problem doing any of them but i know what the how is but i want to know the why is and i want to know why uh, we're doing it and uh, what's happening under the ground so basically what i read last night was and it was very interesting here's more of an example of it here to see the way the grass is yellow and it's tired well basically what's happened is i hammered down loads of carbon onto this ground here this year so basically i disturbed the balance of carbon to nitrogen the cn balance so basically there was way 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 not way too much but lots and lots and lots and lots of carbon put down onto the ground here and the bacteria and the microorganisms that eat down that carbon need nitrogen to uh, be able to do it so they're searching for nitrogen and they're competing with the grasses for nitrogen is basically what i've found out there's obviously lots of different forms of nitrogen more than I ever realised, obviously there's the gas form that's in the air around us and then there's the soluble form that's in the ground that's available for the grass and then there's other forms that's not available to the grass and the microbes make it either available or not available. So the first process is when the carbon goes down in the ground is a bacteria comes along and munches it up and they need nitrogen so they're taking nitrogen from the ground uh, to break down that carbon and they're making the nitrogen immobilized is the phrase they used so uh, that's why we're getting that yellowing look but the good news is that after that happens another predator organism microorganism comes along and eats up that bacteria and mineralizes it again so it's going to take a full 12 months for this to actually show the benefits of what we did this year um, yeah, so without sounding boring, that was a bit technical, all of that. Now, I watched it a few times last night to get a grip of it, but I found that fascinating. So the bacteria are competing with the grass, the soluble fertilizers, in the, or not fertilizers, the soluble nitrogen that's in the ground. Now, if you applied chemical fertilizer into the ground, the bacteria would use that up as well, but they would burn up the carbon faster and release it back into the atmosphere as CO2. I found that fascinating as well. So that's the issue with the nitrogen fertilizers. They burn up the carbon in the soil rapidly and release it into the atmosphere. So basically, um, I suppose for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So you can't just have bacteria producing nitrogen for grass because then it will basically suck it all out of the atmosphere and we end up nothing to work with. It will break the cycle. So you have to have it that it converts it both ways, available and unavailable. Immobilized and mineralized are the two official terms. So I'm hoping now that this will improve uh, for next year i'm going to uh, graze it off now in the next week or so um, put my silage down on it um, and get the cattle through it so this is the kind of a hilly place i have to come into it's very difficult to get out of it i can get in no problem but i have to go back up that hill and i get stuck there at times so the winch is going to be coming into action so yeah where are the cattle now? Let me just show you again. Across this drain. Shite, I looked the other way. But there is obviously in places ni nice grass here. It's probably where I didn't knock down as much stuff. But out in the middle there now, where I knocked all them rushes down there now, it's tired and looking like it needs nitrogen. But it'll straighten itself out next year if there had been clover in that ground um, that problem wouldn't have arisen because the nitrogen would have been in the pro or in the clover that's another thing i read about so anyhow let me walk backwards here now the sun is going to be in your eyes 
So there's lovely green lush grass coming in here now. I'm very happy with that there. You know. So that's the story with that field down there. I'm back in with the cattle. So these are not hungry at all. I'm going to give them that silage. I'm going to leave them here for the night. I'm not going to move them this evening. They're getting greedy. I'm going to put them down there tomorrow morning for a full day and feed them silage in the evening time tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, tomorrow night. So that's the situation. I hope I explained that okay now. And the uh, you know, nitrogen... Uh, Nitrogen, uh, oh, the head is gone. Cycle. So look, that's it now. We're up on 10 minutes now. I'm going to close off. So we'll talk very soon. I'll post this later on. So for now, we'll say good luck and goodbye.